Okay, so today we are here at uh, my nail station and what we're going to be doing is I have finished both hands now on the just natural looking nails that we did from the other day. You did see the before and after. These are full sculptured um, with the gel bottle and um, I do show the, the products that I used, etc., on the previous video. So if you guys want to know um, how I created that, then definitely everything is uh, outlined in there. So what we're gonna do now, we wanna keep things like simple and elegant and kind of understated. And I personally really love an understated nail. I feel like it wears easily and it's not obnoxious with too much art or anything like that. Um, so for me, it's, it's kind of my comfort zone. But I would like to add just a nice little elegant touch. So what I'm thinking are from the gel bottle, and I don't know if you guys can see how, like even this one here, it actually goes different colors. It's, it's got a rainbow in there. Um, and so this was kind of my first choice. And I was just gonna do a couple of patterns, just on a couple of nails, just very simple. Um, but then I started looking at this. This is also the gel bottle, but this is mostly a floral kit. And a couple of these caught my eye in here. Um, so I think what I might do, and as I'm looking at this kit, I think I might use that one and just put a couple of these uh, nice, simple little flowers just on a couple of nails. I think that would be quite tasteful. So I think, I think we're gonna do this one here, right? So work along with me. I'm going to show you what, how we're going to do this. Um, and you're going to need your foil X, a little bit shiny, a little bit reflective in there, but this is your foil X from the gel bottle. And this is what's going to work the very best uh, for sealing in at the end. And this is that new rubber top coat 2.0. So you guys are going to love this new product. It is, it just has a beautiful feel and texture to it. So I think this is going to be a really good one for everyone. And last but not least, I mean, I do have my regular things, my tweezers, little scissors, um, just in case we need to pick something up like our foils or anything. But here too, oh, isn't this cute? One of my girls got this for me. Thanks, Alana. She's the manager at my Lethbridge store, and this was so cute. So I'm not perfect, but my nails are. <laughs> How cute is that? Hey, thanks, Alana. Okay, we'll be back in a minute. Let's dive in this pack. This is a brand new pack. And this is the one that I was saying I was thinking I would do. I just feel like it's really pretty and I can just do a few from here. So what I'm thinking is maybe we'll just put, you know, just a couple on a few random nails. Not a lot. I don't want to take away from the understatedness, um, which some might call the boringness of my nails, but I'm enjoying them right now. Okay. So when we're working with these, as you can see, I pulled it out and you know, it was kind of all over the place. They are in strips. When we're finished, we're just gonna roll it back up and just put it back in the container. But on here, it's not quite so evident because clearly there is a front and there's a back. On some of the other ones that are just like a plain metallic, it, it's a little bit harder to tell. So uh, you always wanna make sure that the part that's going onto the nail is gonna be the back. Now, I mean, that sounds really apparent, but trust me, it's not always. So, um, okay. I'm gonna just start by taking a little piece off of here, just so I don't have quite so much to work with. I know I don't need a lot of flowers, so I'm just gonna take a nice little piece for me, and I'm gonna move this out of the way. I will roll it back up and put it back afterwards, but for right now, that's just gonna move on out. And then we're gonna come in with our foil X. So foil X, where do we want our design to go? That's what we're going to think of, okay? So let's see, let's see. 
You know, I, mm, let's see, maybe this way. Nope. Okay, I like that. So something just like that across there, right? All right, and this doesn't have to be an exact science. So we're thinking something like that just across there, not a lot. We're gonna use the foil X. Make sure that you have your uh, gel bottle lamp to light the way. And then we're gonna take our foil X. Now remember, wherever you put this, this is gonna to stick to. So where I had my little pattern drawn out, I'm just gonna kinda of go like this, just across there, like that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cure this. So we're ready. And we're just gonna place that there. Touch, touch, touch. You can just give that a nice little rub down. Voila. So you can see my pretty little flowers. I just wanted a little hint of it on the side. So really, really cute. Just like a nice tiny little design. After all of that, I changed my mind. I tried the flower, but it just did not have quite enough impact on kind of this naked background. It, it just didn't pop, so it wasn't doing a lot for me. So I've changed my mind and I'm gonna just do something like this, kind of just like a holographic over the top instead. A little bit more random, but it's something that's gonna just really show up in the light, but not take away from the natural looking nail. So I'm hoping this one is gonna be good. I say the other one, it just didn't turn out exactly as I was hoping. So let's put a nice coat on here. This dries or cures really, really matte too. It's kind of got like a rubbery matte texture to it. Okay, so there we go. Let's put that in. Okay, so here, let's find a nice little spot. I like that area there. Touch it down, touch it down, touch it down. And this does not need to be perfect, but there you go. My phone is backwards apparently today. Can you see how that's just really reflective and just quite holographic? It's a very cool look. I really like it. Okay, so now what we need to do, because this is literally just foil on the top of here, obviously we need to just clean this up, but we can do that afterwards once we have put our top coat on. Now, the gel bottle rubber top coat is really meant for if you have embellishments or any kind of design on the top of the nail, anything that's maybe not completely 100% flat to the nail, the rubber texture of this is going to help you because it's it's going to accommodate for any unevenness and it's going to seal better. Okay, so let's dive in with this. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know if I'm going to do it on all the nails. I might because I'm pretty happy with it actually. So we're going to go over the top with our rubber seal from the gel bottle. Rubber top coat 2.0. Once again, tack free which is nice and convenient. Okay, so there we go. And let's go in the light and let's have a two minute cure here. So I'm really happy with that actually. I, d I really do like the way that looks. I'm surprised that I like it so much and I'm surprised at how gorgeous it looks. One of the things that I'm gonna do here though is I'm gonna just, we need to remove that. No, I mean, the minute I wash my hands, I, it's going to disappear anyways, but let's just grab a little bit of alcohol here and we can just remove that. It has been sealed in and this is just a, a Q-tip, so super easy to remove that. There we go. Well done. So there, and that is sealed in, so it's not going anywhere and it looks quite beautiful. I would say, I think. Let me make sure you guys are getting a good view of this. Like picking up on all of the ear 
iridescence and holographic shimmers to that. Okay, I'll see you next time.